everyone, welcome back, welcome back to Chosar Kitchen. So today we're gonna make a kimbap, a Korean seaweed rice roll. Gim means uh, dry sheets of seaweed and bap means rice. They're absolutely a must for our school field trips, outdoor activities, as well as uh, family road trips. Kimbap, these rice rolls are the most popular on-the-go meal in Korea. So they're practically sold everywhere and popular with both adults and kids. Uh, there are many, many, many variations of kimbap these days, but today we're gonna make a simple one. Small-sized kimbap called goma kimbap. You probably figured this part already. Goma means a little one or little kid in Korean. Unlike a traditional kimbap, this goma kimbap only uses a minimal ingredients, so we only are gonna use three ingredients uh, pickled radish, eggs, and a carrot. Very simple, right? Everyone loves these kimbap rolls, so try them out yourself and fall in love with these rolls. Even though we are using only three ingredients, these rolls are so, so tasty. So you're gonna be actually amazed by like how tasty they can be. Everyone, let's try this. I've got all the ingredients here. So first of all, I've got this dried seaweed. So for making kimbap, uh, seaweed sheets are uh, need to be slightly thick to be able to hold the rice and all the fillings. And they are slightly roasted as well. Uh, I will show you how they look. And um, pickled radish. So these are pre cut, so especially just made for kimbap. And a carrot, the whole carrot. And eggs. So one tablespoon of sesame oil and a, a teaspoon of uh, salt. And this is the soybean paste soup block. You can actually make a soybean, soybean soup very easily with this. I think I, most of the time, I eat my kimbap with uh, soybean soup because they really go well together. So I think you should definitely try them together. Here, I've got the freshly cooked rice. This is about seven ounces. I'm gonna make a lot of, a lot of kimbap today. Rock and roll, guys. I'm gonna start with the carrot. I've got this um, handheld, handheld vegetable slicer. So I'm gonna make a little omelet now. So I've got this uh, square pan that I used for keramari last time. So I'm gonna use this today as well. So I've got three eggs. I'm gonna break them all. Well, this is called jidan. Usually you have to separate egg whites and yolks for getting uh, both a white, bright white and yellow color for your dish. Today I'm gonna omit the part because I just want it very simple. Okay, so heat up the pan. Well, add some oil. And spread it well by tilting the pan. So pour a like, small amount of egg. It has to be a thin layer. Uh, there's a saying in Korean that if you make a pretty jidan, you'll have a pretty daughter. Well, it's probably it might not be the most modern sentiment, but it's at least an indication of how important it is to make a perfect jidan. Well, I'm not sure about my daughter. So it's time to pan fry the carrots, so sliced carrots. Over medium heat. I'm gonna add all the carrots. Slightly 
seasoned with a pinch of salt. So you don't have to like stir fry them for a long time. You just wait until they are slightly softened. Okay, all right. It's all done. So I'm gonna transfer this to the plate. Okay, so I'm gonna slice our jidans very thinly. All right, all done. So I'm gonna transfer those eggs as well. So our last ingredient is pickled radish. It's, it's kind of looks like brightly yellow, but these are actually really sweet and salty. Pretty good. This gives a kimba a very nice flavor. I'm just gonna slice this in half. So our three ingredients are all ready to go. Right here. Here, for traditional kimbap, you have to use the whole like, sheets of dried seaweed. But today, we're gonna make mini kimbap, right? So I'm just gonna cut this in half with scissors. All right, so here, I've got a freshly cooked rice. So I'm gonna season the rice with the sesame oil. One tablespoon of sesame oil and then a teaspoon of, of salt. I'm gonna mix everything with my hand. Make sure oil, the oil and salt are evenly distributed. Okay, I think the oil is a little bit not enough. I'm gonna add some more. Wow, it smells quite good. The sesame oil actually gives the rice a nutty flavor. And let me taste the piece a bit. I think it's well seasoned. Okay, our rice is ready as well. Okay, so grab some rice, like I'll make a small ball, and then spread the rice ball. Okay, so I'm just gonna place all the ingredients on the top of the rice. So one pickled radish, radish, and then grab some chidan as well. And then carrots as well. And then lift the entire bottom part and then start rolling. Give it a squeeze. So right here. Very simple, right? Alright, so everything is done. Finally done. So I told you I'm starving now. So I'm gonna eat one of the pieces here. Oh, this is so good. Well, these kimbaps may not look as great as you thought they would be, but the taste is surprisingly good. Wow, so good. Then I'm gonna have my denjangku, very good taste soup. I don't know why, it's my thing. I love to eat my kimbap with denjang. They make a really good team together. This is really simple to make. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll definitely have fun while making this. So I, I really hope you try this and then I'm sure you will fall in love with this kimbap rice, 100%. So next time I'll also make a, make a video of making classic Korean kimbap as well. So that way you can compare 
know, like classic kimbap, but this will not be Thank you so much for watching this. I'll be back, so please stay tuned, okay? Bye, guys.